Bison presents four UV cabinets for PCR operations. UVCT AR, UVCT MAR, UVT BAR, and UVT SAR. UV cabinets are designed for cooling operations with DNA and RNA samples by providing protection against contamination. All models are benchtop type, made of metal framework, glass or plexiglass walls, and working surface painted with powder enamel or made of stainless steel. UV cabinets are equipped with an open UV lamp installed in the upper hood. UV radiation from the open lamp disinfects the working area by inactivating DNA-RNA fragments during 15 to 30 minutes of exposure. A digital timer controls duration of the direct UV irradiation. A daylight lamp provides the proper illumination of the working surface. UV cabinets are equipped with a flow-type bactericidal UV clean recirculator AR. Recirculator consists of a fan, dust filters, and a UV lamp organized in a special aluminium casing, which protects user from the direct UV light during operations. As we know, UV light intensity falls rapidly while traveling over distance. The distance from UV lamp inside the recirculator to its walls is 2 cm, at which UV intensity level is 20,000 microvolts per cm2 per second. Based on the data published by UVP, here is given the list of bacteria organisms that will be decontaminated during one second. With airflow productivity of 14 cubic meters per hour, recirculator processes 100 cabinet volumes per one hour, which is 1.3 cabinet volumes per minute. This is the evaluation video of method of disinfection efficiency of Biosense UV cabinets by calculating phase lambda copy numbers subjected to a combined treatment of UV air circulation and open UV lamp irradiation. In this video features Biosense very own UV cabinet UVCTMAR, the one with glass walls and steel back wall. Cabinet has got an air circulator with closed UV lamp and an open UV lamp. The experiment goals are to check the efficiency of following DNA inactivation types. UV air recirculation, UV air recirculation combined with open UV lamp irradiation, Washing cabinet surfaces with natural chlorate, followed by UV air circulation and open UV lamp irradiation. Experiment preparation. Before we start, cabinet must be prepared by washing with natrium chlorate followed by UV air circulation and open UV lamp irradiation. Then we are going to put a nebulizer inside the cabinet and spray on the DNA page. How do we take samples? Three samples are taken from air with syringes. Four samples are taken from surfaces with smears. For taking samples we have outlined smear taking path. After taking the sample, smear is put inside a tube. Samples are prepared in following ways. Syringes are incubated, spin columned and centrifuged. Smears are vortexed and centrifuged. Finally, we are performing real-time PCR. Now you are going to see the video of the actual experiment.
Before we start, cabinet must be prepared by washing with natrium chloride. Followed by UV air circulation and open UV lamp irradiation. Three samples are taken from air with syringes. Four samples are taken from surfaces with smears. Then we are going to put an nebulizer inside the cabinet and spray around the DNA phage. Three samples are taken from air with syringes. Four samples are taken from surfaces with smears. Now we are going to take samples after UV air desecration. We will be taking samples after UV area circulation combined with open UV lamp irradiation. We are going to take samples after washing cabinet surfaces with natrium chlorate, followed by UV area circulation and open UV lamp irradiation. Sample incubation on shaker rest 20 for 15 minutes is needed for DNA transition from air to aerosol in order to spin column samples. Phase lambda copy numbers was detected by real-time PCR.
equations for real-time PCR were provided by Central Research Institute of Epidemiology from Moscow, Russia. For the first time shown, Pius and UV cabinets have 100% efficiency of inactivation of viral DNA and DNA applicants in the cabinets after the combined treatment of UV air circulation and open UV lamp irradiation for 15 minutes. Viral aerosols condensate on the walls of the cabinet requires treatment with DNA decontaminating solutions. 